Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you one of the coolest mods I've come across in quite some time. This mod does something I've never really seen before and it plans on doing a whole lot more in the future as currently it is a very early access mod, but even in its current state, I think you guys are going to be very impressed by it. And anyways, let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so you'll probably notice that I am currently playing at a very high render distance. I can see mountains clear across on the other side of the valley, and generally just details you wouldn't be able to see at a lower setting. But the thing is, I am at the low setting right now. I am playing at two render distance. And you're probably wondering, how is this even possible? Well, this mod adds a fully functioning LODs to Minecraft. And in case you're wondering what LODs are, essentially it's something that most other games use, and if an object is farther away, it has less detail just to make it a bit easier for the game to run. And if you're paying attention, you'll probably notice these the most in open world games simply because the world's so big, they just have to use them. And Minecraft doesn't have LODs as far as I'm aware, which is why when you go to higher render distances, your game just comes to a screeching halt. It's rendering the same amount of detail no matter how far away something is. And this mod makes a change to that. And because it adds LODs, you'll notice when I zoom in, things start to look very strange. And that's because the idea of LODs is that they look good enough from a distance while giving you a huge boost to performance. They won't look perfect, but so long as you don't overanalyze them, they'll blend in just fine. Now, this mod right now is more of a concept at the moment. It's literally listed when you load in as a pre-pre-pre-alpha, so you should probably use it at your own risk, and I wouldn't really recommend using it in a world that you actually care about, but it is a lot of fun to play around with and just see what it can do. And keep in mind that this mod is only available for 1.12 right now, so if you want to do just that, you're going to have to use that version. And as I mentioned before, I'm currently only using two render distance, and this is playable, although I'm not sure I would recommend it because most things are only actually actually going to spawn once they are within two chunks of you, so you're gonna have stuff just appearing out of nowhere. Now here's a little comparison for you just showing different render distances with this mod, and the higher you have your actual render distance set, the less noticeable the pop-in's gonna be. Now realistically, with this mod installed, you really shouldn't even need anything above, say, 16, and at that point, you're gonna have practically no noticeable pop-in whatsoever. And probably the best thing about this mod is just how much of a performance boost you're gonna get from it. Right now, you're looking at 64 render distance, which you can get to if you use Optifine, and you can see I'm sitting around 25 FPS, which is pretty low. Once, however, we switch over to the Far Plane 2 mod, you will see that I'm sitting over 500 FPS. It doesn't look quite as good, but honestly, for the FPS boost you get, it's worth it. Now, obviously, as the mod is a pre-pre-pre-alpha, not everything is gonna work entirely right. For example, as you can see, snow doesn't even show up outside of your actual render distance. But for the most part, so long as you don't zoom in super close on the distant features, you generally won't be able to see much of a difference. It really just does a great job of blending itself in with your actual chunks. And the creator of this mod has some pretty wild goals for the future. Goals that, if achieved, would make this mod unbelievable. Some of these that are listed include be able to use render distances of at least 100,000 blocks, which is just an unfathomable number considering what you see right now is 1,024 blocks. Plus, they want to limit the performance hit to at most 25% using their integrated graphics. So if this was achieved, you could be using these insane render distances on a pretty low-end computer. So if the creator of this mod takes it as far as they're wanting to, this could truly be game-changing. So if you want to give this mod a try for yourself, remember you have to use version 1.12.2, and you're going to need three mods, obviously the main mod Far Plane 2, along with Forge Rocks and Mixin. Remember, it is a very early stage mod, so expect to have some bugs with it, but I would absolutely recommend at least checking it out. And that's going to do it for this video, and remember, if you want to download the mod and the mod mods that you need to use it, you can find them all in the description below, and let me know what you thought about this mod in the comments, I'd love to hear your opinions on it. And also, if there's any other mods you think I should check out, go ahead and let me know. And anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.